Sir, have you heard that Polkadot's getting a massive upgrade again? Gavin Wood taking a break from teaching a cohort of highly trained substrate devs to announce that XEM V3 is finally ready. Incredible timing because last night on Sama Nights we were joined by Gigabrains from the Cosmos ecosystem where we talked about their interchain messaging protocol IBC and oh hold on. That's game caller. Hey, what's going on, buddy? You pumped for the upgrade? Yeah, it, it so V3 actually handles a lot of things that I've been trying to manually implement. It actually makes my life a lot easier. This just merged, right? It's not yet part of the network? You need to upgrade the, the relay chains. And also there are chains that want to implement V3 ha uh, have to also upgrade their uh, code. Okay, so what new capabilities are you most pumped about? First off, a simple one, which is the exchange asset instruction. This is basically going to make swaps through XCM a lot simpler. For example, I can imagine if there's a chain where you trade NFTs, that chain could implement a mechanism where you can use any token that you could possibly have. And then before it goes to buy the NFT, it performs a swap. Okay, so this takes care of the varying gas token problem. What else is changing? Before V3, XCM locations, so how to find this specific chain or this specific pair chain, sort of like a relative location to, to go from one chain to another, you would follow that path. So you go one parent up, and then from that parent, you, you continue with going to this pair ID. But now they're universal locations, and that allows for the next point that I want to make, which is to be able to export XCM messages. Having the universal location and then having the ability to export messages allows us to make XCM over bridges. So would this just be between substrate chains or possibly to external networks as well? If a different chain that's not substrate based has some so some system for uh, interpreting XCMs, then it is it is possible because the system is generic enough uh, as long as there's a, a way to interpret these messages and then write these messages if you want to send them the other way, then XCM works with them. Okay. And what would you consider the biggest change? NFT support. This allows us to use the same infrastructure we had for transferring fungibles now to transfer non-fungibles and it opens the door for a lot of cool functionality. Well, that's a good cue to throw it over to Penin. But thanks for coming on, Gabe, and uh, we'll see you on Space Monkeys this weekend. Awesome, man. Awesome, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Penin. In this week's news, Veil of Time adds details to their upcoming sale, but there's been a slight delay as they iron out details. They've taken a poll to determine support levels and have decided to keep pricing tiers. Kusama Dragons does a giveaway and distributes KSM rewards to holders. Glimmer Apes has adjusted their staking ratio. And is there big news coming? Manta will be distributing NFTs to trusted network contributors. Bruno published a Canaria recap. Darwinia distributes PLO NFT rewards. V1 of Kusamint is out. Follow World hatching has happened and shells have awoken. Cosmice continues on with improvements. SFY Labs reopens their Telegram chat. Hoglords has an update on their current progress. OG onboarding has closed for Ayuna. Codadot did a major redesign on their marketplace, and it is a massive improvement if I do say so myself. Exiled Racers continues to share their journey. Rad Planet teases a mini game? Code of Ku Collection has been dropping clues of recent. Substra Knights looking cooler by the day. There's a new AI project promoted by Donny called Rare Ships run by Zero X Tone. Rare Sama governance has been updated, and did you see the Space Monkeys coverage of Moonsama's Kill Core? Exosama releases further patch notes, and Rare Sama went live on Exosama Network. Have you voted on this NFT proposal going in on Gov 2.0? Or have you seen the 850k remark proposal under discussion making, um, waves? Make sure to tune in to AAG. On to you, my newly doxxed friend. As we navigate the auctions on the sister chain, Subsocial shocked us all and secured the 37th slot and will soon be transporting their entire pair chain over to the Big Daddy Relay, Polkadot. Pair this news with Twitter integration on the horizon and Polkaverse is sitting pretty. It looks like Hash Network is all alone at the time of writing to secure the 38th slot. Over on Kusama, we've got Hash Network's Canary Loon Network and Pair Thread 2241 gearing up for the next slot as Litmus Latentary's Canary took the cake for slot 66. Don't forget Mangata X will be gearing up for their crowd loan between now and the 70th slot. Hmm, interesting. On to other news as Noble Wallet continues to add almost every token in the Pairverse as new coins on Kintsugi have been added as we inch closer to their DeFi offerings going fully live. Learn more about Kintsugi bringing DeFi to Bitcoin in this interview link below. Oh, and Nova has desktop mode in the mobile app now? Oof. 
HydroDX is expanding the deep ocean of liquidity to include the likes of IBTC, ETH, USDC, USDT, DAI, and HDX. Y'all ready to dive in? Sidetail Academy is still open for new applicants for their accelerator-like program to boost new teams looking to branch into the Web3 space, while Moonbeam's accelerator is up and running for new applicants as well. Check out InVarch's 2022 report and damn, son! The roast of staking testing on Tinkernet just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. Darwinia lays out the deets on their recent merge of the Solo and Parachain chain to streamline development and overall efficiency of the network, which you can learn more about in this article. And over on Fala Network, their fat contracts are being utilized and a new cross-chain DEX aggregator from the new guy on the block, Private DEX. Origin Chill is just crushing it with the newly announced Sustainable Medicines partnership with contributions from over 50 organizations, including AstraZeneca, Deloitte, Google, and much more. Bifrost's VKSM liquid staking derivative has over 250,000 KSM floating around in the market, while Karura's LKSM can now be vault collateral. And finally, Nodal is bringing in the Lunar New Year right with digital red envelope gifts. Another banger. On to you, Jay. I'm actually so stoked on that news of tweets getting recorded on Subsocial's Pokeverse. I love what Twitter's doing, but it'll be great to have the Kusamarian tweets backed up on Web3 via Subsocial chain. In honor of which, we wanted to play you out with something a little different. Subsocial had a promo for their Spacers program a few months ago, and I guess our man IMU made a track for it, which wasn't used, but he recently shared it. It's pretty awesome. I think you'll like it. Have a great weekend, everybody.